Boy, Monte Carlo, we are back for the second uh, segment of Mr. K.A.R. Photography. Yes, He's sir. in the building. Um, we got Will, the co-host. I'm here. In the building. I'm over here. <laughs> we all in the building. I got to stop drinking, man. You're a bad influence. Bro. Hey, listen, man. But listen, you see I, I, I brought a smaller bottle and it kind of like, you know, we get us leftovers. It wasn't I mean, right. but, but still, still, you know, we got an engagement to go to after. Shout out to Made in Mexico. Um, that uh, it's a spot in Harlem, okay. you know, and uh, CJ Mills, he's going to be hosting that uh, gig tonight. Okay. He's a, a young brother who came on the show uh, about last year, mm -hmm. so he's going to be hosting over there tonight, singing for the ladies, serenading and everything. Okay. But to touch touch base on what we were just talking about just now, about um, being able to put input into businesses that you're working with or working for hire, I was talking to a couple of brothers yesterday and briefly... They were, we were just talking about how, like, you know, you got people who they they don't want to see you they don't want to see you do good with somebody else, right. but they don't want to put anything to help your journey, to help your vision. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And that all goes back to like you. You might you might be working for Baby might hire you or Jay Z might hire you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when they see your input, when they see something like, hey, when you put your input, say, hey, listen, you know, it'll make sense if you do something like this, we do something right. like that. They like stuff like that. Right. You know, everybody likes stuff like that. Even companies that are not at the Jay-Z level. I mean, I know, think everybody likes stuff, people to do input in any type of work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, the, the thing is, there's two things. One is, you know, as far as the negative part, mm -hmm. one thing that I learned is that it doesn't matter what somebody thinks. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, um, then that will stop me. And, that, and and mind you, this is like, like I said, I've been doing this official, officially since 2003. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot from 2003 to 2018. Okay. And one of the things I really learned is how to deal with people. Mm -hmm. You know, and I also learned how to take an L. Mm -hmm. And how L's aren't bad. And it's like, if you're not taking L's, then you're not something learning how to, something right. Right. Yeah. It's not even that, but you're not learning how to to fix problems, mm -hmm. you know. So, turn every L into a lesson. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think that's because we just have this thinking of like, you know, we taking losses, so I might as well stop doing this. Mm -hmm. My losses, I, instead of saying I'm gonna stop doing it, I was like, let me do it more to figure out how to do it the correct way because now I know, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like one of the things with me with photography is I just make sure that I'm always. Um, in the present moment, so I can capture exactly what needs to be captured. Now, what do you mean by the present moment? What do you mean by the present moment? Like, um, like right now, we're here, mm -hmm. right? And um, there's a book by Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now. Okay. And I read it uh, right before my grandfather had passed away. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I learned about that book, I kind of never finished it because I learned the key thing, and it said that the past and the future is... Um, doesn't exist and it's an illusion right Jesus. so if you this is the cap i want to hear go ahead, go ahead. that's I'm the cap i want i just wear some shit like okay that. go ahead all right go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. so it's like if if you can't touch it it's not real so this conversation this moment is very real real but you know my grandfather passing away or somebody passing away or or me going uh to 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 Thailand or something like that in the future is not real. Only thing I have is this moment right now. So this moment makes I, I can make the best of this moment. One of the things I say to my clients is like, if you want great memories, you have to make great moments. Okay. okay. So being in the present moment, like this can be something big in the future, but we have mm -hmm. to make it that way. Mm -hmm. You know. So you take every second of life and you just you you give it your best. And I, and this is something that I'm practicing. So I'm not like you know, Eric Thomas or nothing like yeah, that, you yeah, know, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but I listen to those people because mm -hmm. that helps me get to where I need to be. Mm -hmm. And and I try to stay far away from negative because I am I am like the biggest negative person toward mm -hmm. myself. Nobody else can be more negative than me toward me. Mm -hmm. So I always have to make sure that, you know, you create a routine, I always make sure that I, I stay focused as mm -hmm. much as possible. I cut things off of people off mm -hmm. if I have to, just so I can get what I need to get to to make things happen. Because overall, at the end of the day, you know, it's a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is definitely a big picture. Big um, picture podcast show every Wednesday after Wednesday. seven. Yeah. A little plug just to make sure y'all was aware. Yeah. 
It's, it's, this is real, man. I mean, I hope I'm not going too far. No, 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 no it is. It is. Everything is it's, it's, it's all, it's all a cipher, man. Um, because, you know, so you said your, your grandfather, he was a photographer from 1940 to 2012. Right. What was some of the last work that he did before he, he moved on? That's a great question. Um, some of the last work was just capturing Harlem, like, in its mm -hmm. change. You know, um, he has a lot of work of old Harlem, but mm -hmm. also during the transition period of, like, from anywhere from 2000 to 2012. You know, and, and a lot of, you okay. know, toward like 2010, 2011, he didn't shoot as much. It was more family photos, which is kind of mm -hmm. crazy because like the very last, the very last time we spent together mm -hmm. was, um, was Christmas 2012. And usually I take a family photo of us and I didn't, mm -hmm. you know, and but but can I just tell you something about that? Mm -hmm. Because th it goes back to being in that present moment and really understand how we are as human beings. It, it, it was like with my grandpa's right. He was the coolest dude. Anybody that knew him, he stayed sharp, mm -hmm. all that and everything. Right. I just want to say. That. But mm -hmm. the other thing about it too was he, when he passed away, this was so dope. Mm -hmm. And it sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but he was laying in the bed. His heart rate was at ten. Right. Mm -hmm. um, no, excuse me. It was at thirty, and then it dropped to ten. My family, we were always around him. Mm -hmm. And when it dropped to ten, everybody like walked away, except for me, and I was there. And I touched his leg, and his leg was like ice cold, like cold as possible. And I was like, "It's all right, Grandpa. You could go." And I'm rubbing his leg, and I literally saw his heart rate go to three and then flat five, mm -hmm. right? And and I told my homegirl this. My homegirl, I think it was Majesta. I hope it was. Majesta. But she said something oh, dope to me, and she was like, you know, so many times we see the spirit going into the body when a baby is born, we never see the spirit leaving mm -hmm. the body, mm -hmm. you know, and and what, and what we have to realize is that we all are just, it, it goes back to that saying that we are human beings, uh, we are spiritual beings having a human, you know, experience, experience. thank you, mm -hmm. and, and that's what this life is about, so mm -hmm. you gotta, you know, one thing I stay doing is I challenge myself. And, and I get out of my own way and get out of my own head. I got, you, you know, the thing about me is, yeah, I have my grandfather's influence, but I got cousins who are like entrepreneurs. You know, remember my cousin? Mm -hmm. You know, and he went through what he went through, but I love my cousin because he came out of it, and now he's getting ready to open up another restaurant. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I got a cousin in Atlanta, he's doing his thing. He got Barber's Magazine, and, uh, you know, um, a cousin in LA that does shirts. It's too many people around me to fail and 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 stay in one place and just be like, yo, this is it. Like I'm 45. You know, like, like it just can't be that way. Mm -hmm. And I, I say this because there's so many people that you know nowadays we get to a certain age and and people just give up. Yeah, we think it's over. Yeah. We think it's over. We think it's over. And I'm like, every day I wake up. I gained 25 pounds. All right, let's challenge myself to lose 25 pounds. Like, you just go into it and, and you just keep going. You know what I think it is? I think once people uh, jump a hurdle or get through a problem or issue, they think it's it. They think it's okay, I'm not going to have no more problems. I'm not going to have no more issues. No, mofo. Um, you, something's right around the corner. It's right. going to smack you right but, in the face. But I don't like, like you can't give up. Right. Yeah. But it's not even like. Is it really smacking you in the face, though? I mean, it, because it, it might come in, with a smile, right? And then it, it turns into a right. But but we live like in. a relationship. Yeah, you know, you got relationships. You know, in the beginning, right. it's happy, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not I'm oh I'm good. Nothing else. We we gonna happy ever after until you start seeing those signs. Right. You know, you start seeing those signs. Right, I know where you're going. He ready. <laughs> he ready. <laughs> he ready. <laughs> he ready to get into this. Yo, no, no, no. they don't call a big picture for nothing, man. You, you trying to, you going to zoom out let us see the whole thing? Yeah. You, you, you know, I mean, come on. Chime in, Kev. Chime in, Kev. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want the other Kev. I want, I want the, you we want got it. the entrepreneurial Kev. Right. You know, because there's so many, there's so many different parts. You know of of uh, of the cab that people probably don't know. Right. They don't know how I much. I think people know if they follow me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. you know, but a lot but of this is an opportunity for them to you know the ones who may not be following you. Now, <laughs> nah, um, what, what what do you want to know? Well, at at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you know everything comes back to 
you know, not giving up. Right. Pushing forward. Right. You know, I think that in some relationships, I've speaking to females uh, lately, and they one thing they say is they quit a lot. They're they're quitters. So they quit, they give up easily. Right. They don't see things their way, they get bored. Right. Well, I'll be yeah. honest, you know, they don't, they're not wild. The females I know, mm -hmm. they're not quitters. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that. Just we need that. more sisters like that, though. You know, I think, I just think that we in, we are, we're in a situation in life right now where, like, there's a lot of things thrown at us that, we were not prepared for. Are we talking but, about women or are we talking about men and women in general? Just in life. I think there's a lot life. of things that are thrown at us that, you know, men and women weren't prepared for. Mm -hmm. right. We weren't we weren't taught about. Right. You mm -hmm. know, and, and yeah. you know, we're now experiencing them sometimes for the first time. Mm -hmm. Right. As grown ups. Mm -hmm. Right. As thirty year olds we're experiencing like because, falling in love for the first because time. Because I don't like I, I don't like to quit. I'm not a quitter. Like things might you know You need to quit sweating. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they can still. <laughs> well, you, you know, Sophia, what's up? What's up? You know, the the thing is, is that you know, I'm not a I'm not a quitter. Right. You know, I like to push as hard as I can, even though things might not be looking the way it's supposed to be looking. Right. You know, I like to go as hard as I can. Right. You know, but you're supposed some to. people they don't think like that. You know, they give because, up. Because, you know? because you know, the other thing too is everybody has their time. So you mm -hmm. could be moving with somebody mm -hmm. in a relationship, mm -hmm. and and that's the time. Mm -hmm. Whether they pass away or whether you separate, mm -hmm. that's the time that you have. And it goes back to being in that present moment because mm -hmm. you know you have to stay in that present moment. And then if if the time does not allow you to go any further, mm -hmm. it is what it is. And yeah. I think the thing is that we get so caught up into it, mm -hmm. you know that it. It will put us in a state that we don't even want to deal with anybody else, or, mm -hmm. or we can become bitter or whatever. And at the end of the day, we just gotta realize that the time that we had with that person mm -hmm. was from this amount of time, and that's it. And regardless of how much, you know, I have a saying: don't ever hug anybody that doesn't want to be held. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why am I so frightened to be with you, and you don't mm -hmm. want to be held? That's a bar yeah. right there. You yeah. know, and no matter how much it hurts. You cry, you get over it, and you move on. You don't get upset too long because there's so many other things to do. Let me tell you, and, and, I, and I'll share this with you because I, I didn't really share this with anybody. My ex, we were together for two and change years, right? Mm -hmm. And she left me, mm -hmm. right? When she left me, man, I was torn apart. But vulnerable? Uh, yeah, maybe, but because that's what Mark said. <laughs> he, 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 he like right. he revels in yeah. being vulnerable. But, but yeah, you know, but but you, know you you can. Nine, nine. The crazy thing is, like, we could get caught up in that, mm -hmm. or or, or I went to the gym every moment. single day, man. Mm -hmm. I went to the gym every single day, mm -hmm. and I and I remember one day. I was working out, and it's this little thing in Planet Fitness where you take the ball and you throw it on the bouncy thing, and the ball bounces back to you, and you catch it, and you just. And one day, man, I was just hitting that thing so hard, everybody in the gym was looking at me, and the dude came over and he's like, "Yo, you broke up with your girl, huh?" <laughs> 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 you got some frustrations, you know. And, and 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 it was, but it was just like you get over it mm -hmm. and I knew with this situation it was such a bigger picture yeah. that I had to get over yeah, it so yeah, that yeah. I could focus on what the bigger picture was yeah. and you know uh, to be honest is the reason why I'm able to teach in uh, different schools and different places is because of her so it's just like we still maintain a business relationship wow. and that is so major I think that some people they they, they get it twisted you know what I mean? Like, yo, he's throwing shots. <laughs> he's throwing <laughs> shots, I'll show you. Listen, listen, baby girl. Baby girl. Whoever you, whoever think no, they're no, the next. No, 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 no. Zoom in on me. Let me talk to him for a second. <laughs> baby girl, whoever you may happen to be, he wants you to not give up. He wants you to not give up. He wants you to like stick it out, put your head down, you know what I'm saying, and keep it going. What he's saying is that he's vulnerable, and he's sorry. Well, he wants you back. Let's, no, 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 no. He wants well, you back. That's Let's keep it a hundred. No, no, no. He's 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 just acting it out. What the thing is is though is that 
you know, I, I, I admire that thought process mm -hmm. of, you know, when you break up with someone, you know, it's okay to have a, a decent relationship. Yeah. You know, that person, you know, might have given you business advice. Right. You know, that can help you in the or future. It's, and it's, it's, it's healthy. Everything, healthy. Is, everything is a learning lesson, man. Yeah. And it's just like, you know what? And this sounds crazy. This, and I do this. So Obama, right, when he when he did the uh, the debates, mm -hmm. right, Obama was having stuff thrown at him all of the time, left and right, right? Mm -hmm. And he always handled it, no matter what, without an attitude. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is a, a, a key person that you want to look at and be like, damn, how did he handle this without getting upset, right? Now, mm -hmm. mind you, I, I get upset. I get very upset. Human, mm human. -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the... the the challenge is to, is to get to that point mm -hmm. where like things happen and, and, and you don't let it bother you. Like I read Kevin Hart's book and, mm -hmm. and he said he has this thing where he does a shoulder shrug. And he said if something doesn't work out, then he just shoulder shrugs it. Because there's still more life going on. And I think the more that we stay up in, in relationships that, that like somebody don't want to be with us, the more we missing out on everything else life. That's, that's really life. that's going for us. That's going for us. So when that happened, I kept mm -hmm. myself in like, and I and I even typed about it. I said I put myself in a gratitude circle. Mm -hmm. In a gratitude circle, every time I thought about the pain that I was feeling, mm -hmm. I thought about everybody that wanted to be around me. I thought about all the accomplishments I did. I thought about everything that I'm going to do. I thought about and and it balanced out or it took over the negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. And and that's how we have to get to it. People are like, oh that's bull, whatever. But then stay in that stay in that state and miss out on life. Yeah. But life is too short. Yeah. It's, you, you know, gotta, so you gotta use your mind over yeah. what your situation is. You gotta think through it. You okay. You find a way to to redirect yourself. People, yeah. we're sorry if it keeps cutting in and out. We're sorry. You know, thank you for keep tuning in. You know, um, you know, we're working on whatever's going on. But Kevin's in the building. K A R Photography is here. Yep. Carimages.com. Yeah. Give you yeah. give yourself K -R, IG. Uh, Kevin Facebook. Images Photography. Uh, Carimages.com. What's your Instagram? Uh, yeah, Kevin A. Richards Photography. Okay. And you can Google Kevin A. Richards too and. You know, mm -hmm. see some of my work and everything. Mm -hmm. And who do you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Uh, who do I want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? I want to work with, with everybody. Who do you want? Uh, the Obamas. The Obamas are family. Oh, yeah. Family pick. Oh, yeah. Even the dog? Even Bo? Even the dog. Yeah. I'm yes. with him. Bo is fire. Yeah. Would Bo you work with Trump? No. Thank you. Oh, slow so, down. So, so, cut, he cuts you a check. Down. I mean, as, as, as we, you know, go ahead to the next segment with Dolly. So, you know, so let me, cut, let let me say this real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it without person. Yeah. Money does not move me. Mm -hmm. Money never I, My photography has taken me places without money. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. I've been, you know, because of my work. And I think I'm thankful to God and I'm thankful to clients that trusted me who've I've been to Jamaica, I've been to uh, St. Lucia, mm -hmm. DR, everything. Money money is not the key to me, so I, I don't care who you are. I'll say no to you because I don't like you. Mm -hmm. because, and if I don't like you, it's not on some petty stuff. It's on something like, I like, like what you represent. Like yeah. Trump, like, I don't care about Trump. Like, yeah, I don't care about him. I don't care about his thinkers or nothing like that. I just posted something yesterday about, like, you know, it was a comedian, a black comedian, and she was talking about how, like, uh, the black dollar is not, you know, um, is, is that's, because I guess it's a hat sort of saying something like, support the black dollar. Oh, okay. black dollars matter. Okay. And she was saying how, like, that's dumb or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need to be your friend mm -hmm. or people that think like you. Because the biggest problem, especially with us, and I'm not going to stay too long, is the fact that we're not supporting the idea of changing. Mm. And we're going to keep going down this road, See, but then when things that. happen, everybody's like wondering why. It's happening because you don't want to really change your thinking. Mm -hmm. And it don't cost the change. It, it costs nothing to, to just mm -hmm. outthink yourself. It's true. So if I'm on a mission of outthinking myself to mm -hmm. continue on a higher road, I can't be around the people that don't even want to change. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather it's gonna weigh you down. Yeah, you trying to fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. trying those to. those that that thought process is gonna weigh you down. Yeah.
Wow. That's major, man. That's major. So, I mean, what, what kind of advice would you give out there to young brothers out there, young sisters out there? Because yeah, everybody's yeah. buying a camera, by the way. Yeah, you know, everybody knows for real, everybody's yeah, buying a camera. Yeah, like with the, you know, we in the world where pictures just, just, are everything. Yeah. What can you, what kind of advice could you give the, uh, you know, the youngins or even people that's, you know, just want to pick up a camera for the hobby of it, you know, just to, to help them along their way. Plug your classes just, if you got some too. Yeah, 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 please. Um, well, the classes are coming up real soon. Um, mm -hmm. it's definitely by demand too. Okay. Um, as far as photography, man, just like stop just taking a picture. Feel. Feel the shot, like mm -hmm. you know. It's a joke that said um, uh, uh, a photographer went to a client's house because the client was cooking dinner, and the photographer sat there, and uh, the client was like, "You know, I love the way your camera takes photos." And the photographer was like, "Word." So then, as they were sitting down, the photographer said, "Eating dinner." The photographer said, "I love the way your stove cooked your meal." Cooked your meal. You know, the thing is, Pow, it's, bitch. it's not the camera, it's, it's, it's the, the eyes, person. It's the, it's the person. And, and woman, stop putting your head down and stop doing the duck lips. That's, like, it's stupid. Please. You know, um, but. Wow. Yeah, see, now that is just <laughs> deep right there. Like the duck. Okay, so well, before we let you go, is this see, now that's the cab. We that's the cab. We talk to talk to that's the, the duck. All right, all right, so hold up. We got about like two minutes left to cab. Grog, right, so, so well. So the duck lips. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> the duck lip, I did. What are the other ones? Um, Grow up. The head, Any other ones? The Any head, other ones, Will? The head down. The, the ass. Down, the, the sitting on the sink. Head. Stop sitting on the sink. The bathroom the sink photos. The sink. The bath okay. Stop taking pictures in front of a dirty mirror and saying part of my dirty mirror. The clothes in the background. You could have cleaned the, the dirty mirror. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The clothes in the background. Oh, that's there gotta right. be some more. That's oh. clothes in the background. Dolly, you got some? on the floor with no feet. Oh well, no. What uh, you? That's just who are you following? That's <laughs> that, 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 you got that money. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yo, so listen. Yeah, yeah, no, you got a couple more? Yeah, real quick. Um, um, but mm. as far as photography, for real, mm -hmm. because of the fact that everybody's using, feel the shot. I mm -hmm. can take something. I can take a photo of something that everybody looks at every single day, and make somebody love the shot because mm -hmm. I feel it's it's a passion of what I do. It's not just like this boom and you, you have to feel the shot and that's what makes a professional photographer. That's one of the things that mm -hmm. makes it as a plan. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Thanks for coming in, man. Thanks I'm gonna take a class. class. Because yeah. even when you're saying like feel the shot and don't just take the shot, I get it. Right. But people need to like be there with you. Right? That's so that you can yeah. really like, you know, I understand that shadows are important right. and that angles are important right. and lighting and you know those little glares and things like that that right. can really turn a still into something right. phenomenal, right? right? I get that, but I need to get the real info from you. I need to stand there with you and be like, yeah. yo, all right, now what do you see? Right. And, and, and can I, before, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I follow dope ass photographers like Be Nice, that's my dude. Mm -hmm. I follow him, um, David LaChapelle. Mike Mogul. Um, there's a bunch of photographers that I follow, you know, mm -hmm. that, that are really dope photographers. And one of my goals that I'm working on is is uh, get to a point where I can shoot for black magazines because one thing that pisses me off when I see these black magazines like Essence and all these magazines is white photographers. And I'm like, where the hell are the black photographers? Why are they got a soul food restaurant? You got, you know, yeah, Mexican yeah. chefs there. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> we gotta bring you back on. Listen, we gotta bring you back on. Kev, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for coming in. Listen, on Facebook Live, y'all get to see us transition. That is the cookie for y'all. Okay. Hey, Dolly, you ready? Dolly Dolly is back. I want to talk some shirts and shit. We gotta go. I want to be serious at first. Yes. Now I'm serious. Let's end on serious. Let's start off right here. I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to have her sit in the middle this time. Yeah, Dolly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think she wants to. She ain't like the NC last time. Rashawn. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rashawn. We got to get, we got to get. Happy birthday, Rashawn. We got to get. Rashawn. Oh, Rashawn. Rashawn. He got me to say Rashawn. What we need to do is get my husband's name right. It's Rashawn. Rashawn. 
Right. My apology. For the ladies' drinks. Okay. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. Jabs up. Jabs up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. You got a little hard there. <laughs> I'm a little raw, like a swole, if you haven't noticed. Oh, we all swole up in this hall. <laughs> oh, man. oh, man, drink two, drink two. Yeah, so let's toast for, for Rashid, his birthday. Oh, I ain't got yeah, oh, 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 yeah. oh, my God. Official Big Picture oh, Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, toast <laughs> for Mr. Rashid. I'm a little bit of a drunk. We still on live or we on hold? Oh, yeah, we live. We still no, we live. live. Okay. And I'm a little bit of a drunk. It's okay. 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 Because when you go home tonight, he's gonna be waiting for that turn up, baby. Wait, 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 man. Rasheen gonna be there with the extra. I got another interview for you, baby. Yeah, baby. So, yo, he gonna like talking to the mic. That's the lovely, lovely. Better beatbox that one. Well, say talking to the mic, baby. We still have to change this one. Okay. All right. So, what was what was y'all like song of the night? Like. Did y'all have like a slow song? Like, slow song what's y'all? Like, yeah, like. I don't know. No. Like, when, when you go, <laughs> what up, I don't know. <laughs> We've been together for years. All right, cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, let's cheers. Happy birthday, man. 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 Yeah, so, so what it is. Let's baby. get to the shits. <laughs> when it's we married for it. 17 years, though, mm -hmm. ain't nobody got time for all that. Oh, wow. Okay, so y'all have a favorite song? Uh, it's, it's, uh, our, song our song is Genuine's Differences. That's our Ooh. song. When we met, that was us. Wow. Oh, okay, so did y'all play that last night? Us. No, we didn't play that last okay. night. Okay. Because last night okay. in the lounge, they was playing all my good shit, all my okay. 90 shit. You know how I okay, get, okay, I get okay. the groove. Okay. I left the spot. I couldn't stop singing SWV. I was on the bus. Let me just knock out real quick. Terrible. Okay. Wow. Terrible. Terrible. So what, what, what spot did y'all go to, if you don't mind? We went to Harlem Hookah. Mm. Between one, what is it, 130th and 129th in Lenox? I know. Oh, that's on 8th? Is that on 8th Avenue? Nah, that's on Lenox. Oh, they got another one then. Yeah. Oh, they got one on Eighth too. Oh, no, I could have sworn I seen one. See, on it's the, this is the hall of the hookah spot on like one twenty what third. Yeah, on the Eighth Avenue, one twenty first and Eighth. Yeah, that's another one. But the oh, the, so they got another the one, the popping one, the new popping one. Oh, okay. So they play some know, good music on there, or oh yeah, oh it the was music lit nineties everything, everything. I mean nineties was trash. You a lie. You the lie. The nineties was trash. Nineties was terrible. You the lie. Okay, so what, what was your years? It was 2000. Ain't been there. Of course, of course, of course he's going to say Ratchet shit. I mean, no, it's not yeah. about ratchet shit. You graduated in 02. Of course. I graduated in 02. Like, where you graduated? Oh, you a baby. Where you graduated? I graduated the year after. Okay, but still. Uh, you, you just happened to be old soul. So I'm a baby. Listen, the 2000s was fire, man. We had Ludacris. Oh, Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. okay. Let's 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 bring it back. Which Jay Z do we like the more, the '90s Jay Z or the 2000s Jay Z? Or 2010? <sighs> it depends, yo. No, 2000 to two. Yeah, to 2010. I, know, man. I like the '90s Jay Z. Yeah. Toka, '90s Jay Z or, or or the 2000s Jay Z? Uh, that's tough though. Tough? Cause no, 90s, I mean '90s is only really like one joint. It's only reasonable doubt, right? Reasonable doubt. That's Word. It. But then that's but then the right, reasonable doubt, doubt volume, volume one. Two. Reasonable doubt volume one. No, reasonable doubt. It was just reasonable doubt volume one. That, oh, that no. first, the first album. No, actually, in the nineties, it was reasonable doubt and volume one. It was reasonable doubt. I'm gonna tell you one and volume two. Now, say the problem. The question is, he always goes one bad, one good, one bad, one good, one bad, one good. So. You see, or one yeah. commercialized, yeah. one authenticity. So he skips yeah, out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Once you get out to things, he skips out. He gives you a good one. And, you know what I mean? So it's like, you yeah, know what I, I get it. I got to make money. Yeah. Right. I know. It's like, it's like he, got, well, he got 10 albums, right? Yeah. Right. Five are good. Can we be honest? Yeah. Those five are like between the five, you know what I mean? I only like 444 Jay Z. That's the only one you like? For my new self? Because. And my new yeah, anti, and my new shit. anti rap music shit? I only like. Who's talking real stuff? I mean, I get it. I totally get it. I have a problem though because 
Oh, Daryl Chase says hard night life. Out of Daisy is fire. Let me tell you something. Daryl Chase. Nineties. I wait, people, but yeah, that's yeah. the problem though. The next album was kind of uh, and the one before was ah. Uh, nah, Volume yeah. Three was crazy. Hard night. Wait, Hard night life was uh, Volume Two. Yeah. But then Volume Three had Big Pimpin, Hey Poppy. Yeah. What was before? Oh, what was before Hard Night Life? Volume One was that. Trash. That was it because that's, that's the one with like the puffy. Right, right. That's what the girls like. Yeah, that was a great album. But Volume Two and Volume Three was good. Blueprint was good. Blueprint Two had. A yeah, double CD yeah. for no apparent reason. Yeah. No, what was the hell coming? Was was Kingdom Come was yeah. and uh, Holy Grail was and yeah. uh, Black Album was good. Black Album, Black Album had threats, yeah. right? Decent. Oh, I guess it was it's threats. It's more that, was, and that, that introduced Young Guru. Tell my sister, that introduced Young Guru. Young Guru. Young Guru. Young Guru. We need Young Guru on here. Welcome to Rock Nation. Young Guru, we need you on here. We need you. We need you. We need you. Yeah, that was the the best of the best. I have a problem though. Um, they took Reasonable Doubt off title. Okay. They sure did. Wait, uh, why? He got the took, masters. My brother. They yes, sir. Sure they took Reasonable Doubt off title. Because I don't have Can I Live on him. Oh, you. that's Thank a power you. move. All right. So, we don't know what's about to happen, but yeah, something's about to happen on Reasonable Doubt. Yeah. Word? Yeah, that's, they, they, took, it off. they took it off. That was the only reason why I got title. The only reason why I got title, because I have Spotify too, is because I like Jay-Z and Jay-Z's yeah. music is not on uh, Spotify. It's on Apple. Wow, really? But Apple, ha- Apple, it, it doesn't sound, it's the way it's, uh, the way it sounds in my car, it just sounds awful. Sound it sounds awful. Yeah, so I don't have Apple tunes. I have iTunes anymore. Well, I don't have the Apple. I don't so I'm about to get that new one. Ah! Beats yeah. audio. Yeah. <laughs> my cousin Jay Z after Ether was like Hugh Hefner after seventy. He's still the man, but is he still knocking them down? Wow. Probably not. That's a great assessment, uh, Jason. Yeah. Okay, but see, the, yeah, I, don't know, the I don't man, know. I don't think he could actually. Yeah. Hit him like he's supposed to. Yeah, that's I mean. why he went the four 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 route, and that's why I like it. Like, I'm about to I'm about to boycott rap music. It's, it's over. Y'all seen yeah. Wynton Marcellus? Y'all seen what he said? Yeah, that had to do with that. him. No, I mean I feel you. It doesn't have anything to do with you. But what what's that got to do with me? Listen, man, <laughs> we are creators. We created all of music. That's a so like we got to stop acting like we don't. You know, we not prolific in. Classical and jazz and R&B and soul, like we are so hip hop minded that we have been conditioned not to love ourselves. I don't know about all that, bro. I know you don't know about all that, and none of us do because we love the music so much. But really, think about the music. You know what I think about today's music, though? No, it's not just today's music. Wait, wait, wait. They're not saying nothing, but all of our artists from the '90s promoted poverty. They, they the promoted, 90s promoted poverty. The what time. You, what do you got promoted poverty? They, they promoted. They wanted they, what they spoke to children. Uh huh. Because remember, right. all rap is, all, all rap that. music is. They said the nineties. The yeah. well, not that nineties. I'm talking about late nineties, ninety six, ninety seven. That's what I was like. Bling era. Self destruction was real shit. That was my. That was real shit. But I'm talking about the bling era, the platinum era with Puffy and all of them and Jay Z. Like that shit endorsed capitalism, consumerism, yeah. 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 materialism. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we are behind. And we're yeah, still we going to dance to it with party. And we're still going to dance to it. Yeah. But it's like, it's fucked up. What about that song? Ain't pay my rent, but my money spent? I don't know I'm still that. fly? What's that? What's that? Oh, the yeah. big time? Yeah. Like, dude, are you serious? So you mean to tell me? Yo. Art so right. imitates life. So niggas are out there doing it. The crazy <laughs> part is that, like, I'm just saying. like, we love hip hop because <laughs> black people make it. Say, no, yeah. art don't imitate life. What? No, it don't. Son, not, it, it goes vice versa too. Not when marketing dollars are involved. Sorry. Art is not going to imitate life when the marketing <laughs> dollars are involved. Because after NWA, it was still some fucked up shit going on. Mm-hmm. But these Jews figured out that selling National Geographics to white people from the hood, that's what hip hop has become. Rap music has become the National Geographic for white people yeah. to get a, 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 it's a, life it's for a escapism. They get an escapism from their white life yeah. into the blackness mm. by listening to hip hop. But they only like a certain thing. Just like most white people only like the killer movies and the action flicks when shit is blowing up. They only like gangster rap. They only like niggas acting like coons. Mm. They only like fucking the minstrel show. You think? That's what they like. That's what white people buy hip hop. Black people buy into hip hop, which means we know. buy into the ideologies of our favorite rappers because they're black and we idolize them. I don't know. But that. white people purchase the hip hop. Look at the shows. You've like never seen a hip hop show with predominantly black people since the eighties. I mean, a big artist. <laughs> Think about a big artist. 
You look at Jay Z shows, millions of white people. Of course. Because they buy hip hop, they purchase it. So if they're purchasing it, and this is a capitalistic society, then the labels are going to sell what the white people want to hear, not what the black people need to hear. Hip hop was for, it was our voice. It sure was. Well, I mean, if we don't be careful, then what he's saying could be. No, it's over. No, yeah. what I'm saying is already set in stone. It, 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 how many, sad to say. How many white people created that shit? Listen, how many white people care about Trump or Quest? I, 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 I'm quite a few. Yeah, from New York. Look, you got to be introduced in the culture. Michael Rappaport. From- Michael Rappaport is the white man who cares about Trump or Quest. But no other white man cares <laughs> about Trump or Quest. He, he's a very small demographic of white men that cares about that shit. So white people like him. They cool with they was cool with the hip hop. It was fun, but Look, white people really got into hip hop. I worked hip-hop. at Summer Stage and I seen the crowd. Me, white um, people, white people coming through to support these artists. White as fuck, yeah. I mean, like Trump, yeah. Quest, and all of these other okay. dudes. That's like, cool. They, 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 they were coming for the experience. Fun. They got the money to pay for the shit. It's free. It's a free concert. It was a free concert for Busta Rhymes and Drake. It was free. Trump, Quest, and all. It was free. Um, it's not free. You know why? Because, because they. You know why it's not free? Because wow. time is money, and black people ain't time to go to the summer stage. Black people because they don't want to TV. They Why know. Go they know. They support our fuck. Because niggas ain't got no outfit for summer stage. You don't need no <laughs> outfit. <laughs> you, did. you in the grass. <laughs> what what do you mean? Who black gonna go to some shit without an outfit? Me? Have you seen Afro Punk? I don't know. Them niggas, <laughs> them niggas put on what they put on. They dress to the nines at Afro Punk. Why? Because black people can't go nowhere without dressing up. That's the problem. Wow, that's deep. It is the problem. Because I was out I, for the past year. I've been living out in the, you know, the, in the suburbs, yeah. in the burbs, and I swear, since being back in the city, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna change. I swear because I see it. I see it. <laughs> like most folks that go to the store, it's like they gotta dress up. They for gotta, they, they gotta go to the laundromat looking good. And it's almost like if you don't look good, you f- and I and I'm speaking for myself because right. I see it because right. I grew up in Harlem. Mm-hmm. You understand? And it's like, nah, man, it's not wrong with going to the store, or going across the street with some flip flops on or something like that. Like, like as long as you're comfortable and clean, and your toes ain't busted. This is your family. <laughs> <laughs> as long as your feet don't stink, right? You're in the elevator, and your feet stink. But like, yo, this is our community. <laughs> 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 This ain't gonna be right. I mean, we are so true. Be that fucking shallow. It's so true. Look, man, my mother told me to walk out the house representing her, so I ain't walking out the house looking mm-hmm. crazy. Even but with my sweatpants, I look good. But why did your mother say that? Because, because she her mother that. told her that. That's right. And her mother told her that. Yeah, right. And her mother told her that. But you know what? And her mother before that was a slave. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with having good upkeep. Ain't no, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with having good yeah. upkeep, but. It's like priorities. Like like my man said, he was just sitting here and said, like, you'll buy some bullshit, you know, before wow. getting something that you this really need. Thing. Jason this said East Coast classic hip hop is celebrated more overseas than in the States. On that, a thousand. That's true. Uh, Yo, shout out to Priest Music. I have a out. friend. Oh my God. Wait, yeah, I have a yeah. friend named named Priest. He's a rapper. He travels to Switzerland maybe three or four times a year uh-huh. to do hip hop festivals. Mm-hmm. And he's he's making more money. There's so many things doing hip hop festivals. Doing hip hop festivals. So guess what? They appreciate nice. So what we gonna do? Literally. So we gonna do? We gonna do a big picture music festival. That's what we going We speaking that into existence right now. We gonna and have real music, though, right? Huh? All real music, right? All real music, not no fake bubble gum. No. No. All right. Let me say this. I gotta say this. You hate him. I don't like Takashi Six Nine. You about to hate. That was End of story. It's not a hate. That's facts. And he records. You should be ashamed. I'm not ashamed. ashamed of that dude. Why am I ashamed of him when hip hop is already like down the dangerous slope? It's over. And he ain't helping. It's he ain't over. helping. All right, guys, check it out. This it's is what over. we gotta do. I forgot to to talk about it earlier. All right, but we will be doing a uh, big picture podcast. <clears throat> excuse me, panel discussions. Yeah. Okay. So, Jason, if you're interested, uh, is that Ika? Do you know her? That's Erica. 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 All the viewers out there, if you are interested in being in attendance at a at a panel discussion <laughs> at a lounge in Harlem, all right, Big Picture Podcast, we will be doing a panel discussion in Harlem, all right. Just let us know. Let us know your on any of the comments. Just hit yes, you know, whatever. Just let us know. Let us know if you're interested in it, and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep your names, 
and we're going to let you know when we're doing it, all right? The tickets will be $25, and we will be discussing different topics. Um, the viewers, you can choose your topics, and we will be choosing some topics, too. Yeah, Public Enemy is still performing, so I'm saying. Okay. On the thousand, Wu Tang still performing. So a let's see people traveling overseas and performing. Yeah, let's get into let's get into briefly uh, the situation with Mitchell, Don, oh, Donnie Mitchell, Don, with Dante right. Dante Mitchell. All right, so Dante Mitchell was arrested at 17 years old and charged as an adult mm -hmm. for what was it, 30 to 70 years or something? 30 to 70 years mm -hmm. with a possibility of parole. Uh, yeah, parole. He has parole in six years. It was for armed robbery, right? Nobody was killed. Nobody, nobody was, was killed. Hurt. Nobody was harmed. Nothing. Why is this boy sitting in jail? For a crime that he committed when he was 17. And, and he's on good behavior. And, and he's rehabilitated himself. So he's and he's helping years. rehabilitate he's others. He's 21 years them. already, too. I'm, All right, so I'm baffled. Somebody need to enlighten me on what the fuck is going on. Sorry, well, excuse well, my friend. This is the same thing that happened to me Mills, though. And Khalif Robert. All right. Yeah. You know, the, the, whole, yeah. the whole thing is, is that these people, like, the, the young brothers, they're taking the probation instead of the time. You see what I'm saying? So in Meek Mill's situation, you know, he was committing crimes when, you know, when he was a, a, a young, young kid. kid. Mm -hmm. But taking the probation instead of doing the time. Right. So, you know, you're doing 10 years probation, you know, you in jail is just minus the bars. Does the punishment fit the crime, though? That's the thing. You know what I mean? Like that's the problem. They, 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 they're, they're, they're charging these young brothers with murders. Nobody died. And, and nobody died. Yeah, you know what sucks? Like we're expecting like these white people to be fair. No, uh, we're, we're, not, we're not. No, 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 no. We are in some way, shape, or form. We're expecting them to be fair. I'm because when, and they, it's not going to be fair until we get more black politicians in there who got some sense. So what I said last week, and what y'all told me. What I said last week, we told you. Police, well, not politicians. Me, you police. have to be involved in police. all of it. No, you can't. You We're telling you to do the police. Listen, it's you have to have foot soldiers. When you play chess, you got pawns, you got queens, kings, knights. You got all of that. You got to set up your pieces. Yeah. I dig it. That's what you got to do to yeah. take it down. Yeah. Yeah. You're, not gonna, you're not going to sit there and have a revolt and you don't even know what the hell you're doing. You don't have no people this in the thing, thing now, This is the thing. We don't even know how our political system is run. All we know is what they taught us in class. And what we see on the media. Mm -hmm. Now, can we really trust the news? Can we trust CNN? But see, no, it's not about exactly. us. Exactly. So we don't know how the political system works. So you having, know, having know. black politicians doesn't change Listen, anything. But you go in your community and you find out what the issue is. Yes. You go door to door and you ask, yo, what's going on? You don't how see no politicians in, in our community. Baby, you got lead paint in their room. You got to mm -hmm. figure these things out in your community yeah. and you can slowly fix the problem. But you have to have... Uh, you have but to that's have, us. We got to do that. Right. Not politicians. We, we, they ain't gonna we do have to do that. We have to have the village mentality of we got rid of mm -hmm. so long ago. And that's where we fall short all the time. We, we don't depend village. on we one another. We don't have no job. trust in uh -huh. anybody. And that's a problem. We shouldn't. I shouldn't have to look at you and be like, this nigga, I'm not This nigga might rob me. I can't Word. I just, my house. No, I had a conversation straight up. This is this is real talk. Mm -hmm. I was in my mom's job and was talking with one of her, her um, co workers. Mm -hmm. And this dude said, as a black Jamaican man in America, if I uh -huh. see four black dudes, young guys walking down the street towards me, I'm crossing the, the street. street. Nigga, why? Yeah. What did what did Kumon cool be say? I yeah. ain't never had to run from the cool twins. I was that black girl from black men. I would never, with my mm -hmm. kids, cross the street if I see it another one. What up? What up? Mm -hmm. But you feel more comfortable walking down the gentrified streets of Harlem. But this is the thing, right? Because you feel safe. No one is safe from the social engineering. No one is safe from the social engineering. Like, especially a Jamaican person. Like, they from out of the states. They getting the media that America is commissioning to go out of the states. So they only seeing niggas as robbers, thieves, and thugs. Mm -hmm. Just like the white people only see us as robbers, thieves, and thugs. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's about the, the marketing. Like, they're marketing us in a certain way. Listen, back to the prison shit. When they went to Africa, if that's how it happened, right, and they took all the black people, yeah. they took a very valuable product. Mm -hmm. Black people are the most valuable product in the world, right? Yeah, so they, they, they found that product, and they are not going to relinquish their control over that product. They're going to sell that product mm -hmm. by any means necessary. They do it with music. They do it with the prison industrial system. Mm -hmm. They do it with everything. Anything that you can use a the black people for, they're going to do it. We are still slaves. 
When Kanye said that shit about like slavery being a choice, and after 400 years, it sounds like a choice. That's he read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mentally. Read. But just think about the math. <laughs> in our history books, it says that the first uh, known acts of slavery was in what? 1619 okay. in Jamestown, Virginia. Okay. This year makes 399 years. It's about to be 2019. So that's 400 years of mental slavery. That's what he's talking about. Where? That like if, if I don't care, maybe that's not what he's talking about. But I'm smart enough no, to do research, and research and say, look, from 1619 to 2019, it's 400 years, mm -hmm. and we're still enslaved mentally. We're still enslaved. Look, think about this: black pride mm -hmm. doesn't exist without white oppression. Black pride is a given. Yeah. Well, a negative don't exist without a positive, and a positive. I mean, so it's a given. Like we don't love ourselves regardless, mm -hmm. but we have to be extra but, proud of being black because of the suppression. This is the problem. So it's all a prison. This Racism, is distortion. And race in general, the the concept right. of race right. is a prison. Right. And that and that is very true. But the distortion. This is a distortion problem I have when I talk to people about race. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between black pride and white power. You cannot say, well, you guys say black pride and you get angry at us. It's a difference. Because my pride don't have nothing to do with hating you. Mm -hmm. But your pride has a lot to do with hating me. And my <laughs> pride comes as a result of your hate. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. So we got to we gotta decipher the is the difference between my pride and being prideful for the history that I have come to know about my people. And the history that you know about your people and the damage you have done mm -hmm. to mine. That mm -hmm. shouldn't be celebrated. Should bringing not. harm towards other people. And raping and pillaging. That's nothing to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. I really detest the fact that they still teach Christopher Columbus in school. I want to... Yeah, I hate that. About that yesterday. I hate that. And then especially when you read about the Tainos. How could y'all even teach how that? How could you teach that? Like, I, when you know anything about the Tainos. You know what? It baffles me. This, but this is... Donald well, you know what? Jason Jason is Walter. Walter. Is that your cousin? Yes. He's put a lot of posts. He said, change the hood overnight. Change our hood overnight. Also, he put jury notification, notification mm -hmm. all we need to do. All right? Okay. Shout out to Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa what up, boo? So, change, change our hood. No, nigga. No. <laughs> change, change our hood overnight. Okay, Jason, if you can, just, just post on your comment, what do you mean by change the hood overnight? I mean, I have some I mean, ideas. I have some ideas. Yeah. Okay. Stop trying to get money and leave the hood, and put that money back into, into the, the hood. Neighborhood. And you know what's crazy? Cool. Well, I'm, and this is this is why I love you, man, because you you talk about not only because you know we we require alumni, we require brothers, but you know you, you talk how you feel, and in order for people right. to really understand the hood and give back to the hood, you can't get money and leave the hood because once you leave the hood, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Now, when you leave the hood, we don't mean like you still got to live in the hood. I mean, granted, you can move out the hood but still know what's going on. Show your face. Yeah. That's valid. Sure. That's validation. Yeah. You know? But if you leave the hood and you never come back, but you stay, you steady shouting out the hood, ain't nothing changing. And then with social media, you leave the hood and you and your fucking, your, you know, your gated community, and now everything is peace and love. You're doing all your live videos talking yeah, about how good life is. Like you, on, that, that doesn't like that doesn't create mm -hmm. um, inspiration. You're not mm -hmm. inspiring anybody from your old hood mm -hmm. by being like, "Yeah, I love mm -hmm. my new surroundings." Yeah. You're, you're pretty much just like you know letting them know that they need to move out too. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. We don't need to move out. We need to stay here. We need to pay taxes. We need to all be employed. However, we got to do it. Everybody in the like hood thirty years from now. I don't want to be like yeah. Nah, I want to be able to say, I'm, I'm from Harlem. Harlem. Like, I'm from Harlem, New York. But the way I'm not from so high. But the way you understand what I'm saying? Is going, they're they're trying trying to, they're, I, I know, exactly. You know, so it's like, we. the reason why Harlem has the name we have it now is because of us. Okay. All right? It's because of this. Everybody right. loves Dolly. All right? right? Because of this. It's because fucking, my it's people, you know what I mean? This the yo, fucking Dolly show. Yeah, we, I love the people, man. It's yo. Dolly sitting in the middle, man. Like, Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come but on. you know what? Dame Dash says the best invested woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to know your strengths. You have to know your powers. And men, we have to know that our most powerful weapon is a woman. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? It's a woman. Yeah. You know, and uh, <laughs> until we realize that, you never really gonna know the value of a woman. Like, the most valuable weapon, the most valuable gift. Because as long as you talk to that woman right, 
You see what I'm saying? Anything you tell her that can help her, she's going to listen. She's going to absorb. But if you tell her how F you every day, you treat her like crap every day, but tomorrow you're going to say, hey, you know, you should invest in this kind of business. She's like, what? Like, dude, and it could be the best business in the world. But if you got a track record of throwing her under the bus, bringing her down, belittling her, belittling her, and you know what? I'm a, I, I've done it before. I, I've, I, I admit it. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I put myself in a position, you know, she, talking is not single. <laughs> I'm not single. He's not He's a podcast to meet women. Listen. You know, and I, I totally get it. When it's Chubby it. Chase's ass. I, I get it because last week he did say that. He said, <laughs> you know, I want a woman who likes my feature, who's, who's comfortable with my feature. You know, but, you know, I admit, you know, uh, uh, saying some wrong things, you know, to, to, to the lady, you know, the woman of my children, the lady who's my partner, you know, I admit it, you know, but yeah, it's like, for doing that. exactly, it's like, you know, but you got to understand, like, hey, you got to know when you made mistakes at, I think some brothers, they don't know, reflection is everything, yeah, they don't know how to take a step back and say, yo, Amen. what was I wrong, what did I do wrong, how can I be better, I feel the God can right women, now. can women do that, yeah, Hell no. Hell no. Go ahead, so I can tell you what. You can't answer for a woman. You ain't a woman. Can y'all say when y'all wrong? Go ahead. Listen. Let the vagina have a mind. Yes! Let the vagina have a mind. Go ahead, Janelle, man. You're listening, obviously. Because a woman can sit there and teach you something. Listen, anyway. Go ahead. You go ahead, though. Anyway, yes, a woman can do that. Is she not profitable? But the same as a man. It's no difference. Mm -hmm. I give birth, you give me the sperm. That's the only difference between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. okay. If I don't have pride, I can apologize a million times and not feel no shame, no nothing. Okay. So a woman can do that. Mm -hmm. A hood rat man. Oh, do my that. wife is watching. Yeah. My wife! Yes! <laughs> I said hey, baby! <laughs> uh, uh, but I mean, it's. Yeah. it's, it's with the side eyes. Those side eyes? Yeah. I don't know how to read the word. Yeah. I don't yeah. speak emoji language. I'm sorry. You up here talking mess. I just asked if they were single. Check him, girl. Him. Check him. <laughs> well, you know what? I I am I am a victim, and I can I can I could a blame it on a victim of what? I, I could blame it on vulnerability. Invulnerable. You gotta stop saying that. Your big words. I, 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 no, 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 no,